Hey, this is Daniel Moore. I'm with Livestock Electronics and I'm here uh, with Analog Zone. I'm working on five modules that I'm going to show you right now. The first one is the maze module. It's a routing and mixing module. There are two modes to it. The first one is a save selection uh, mode. Um, in this mode you can select the preset. In this mode you can uh, set the routings. For instance, like this. Now I'm controlling the amount of the inputs to the outputs. Here are the four inputs. Here are the four outputs. And all the inputs are being mixed together to the outputs. If I control it to, to the uh, bang module, which is an oscillator, it will uh, change the sound. The nice thing about the maze module is that you can control these presets with voltages. For instance, if I plug it in through here, you can see the different presets being selected. There's a little switch over here at the uh, underside of the uh, knob. This allows you to add more maze modules uh, if you have more. So you can increase your matrix. The second module is the bang module. It's a digital wavetable oscillator. Um, it is inspired by chiptune sounds, so a Game Boy kind of sound. The um, wave, uh, wave library uh, is uh, uh, selected with the SD card. Uh, you can take the SD card in your computer and create your own waves using uh, the Bang application that is uh, available for Windows and for Mac. You can select the different libraries using these buttons here. The uh, wave algorithm is uh, like so. You have a selection of uh, several parts, so the wave is divided into several parts with this knob. In this case, I am using two parts. The first part will be a uh, sawtooth, and the second part will be a sine wave. Now I can change the amount of parts, which adds to a kind of form performance-like uh, sound. The third module here is the Felix. It's a buffered multiple with attenuators or attenuverters. It has one input and three outputs. For each output you have a knob and a switch to change between attenuverter or uh, attenuator. It, has, uh, it is a dual module as well. The uh, uh, fourth module is the Shepard sequencer. It is a quad sequencer. So it has four channels with mute switches right here. It has two modes, one play mode, which allows you to change the tempo like so, and change the track. Also select different loops uh, by playing them. The second mode is a uh, loop edit mode. You can select several steps and then change the parameters using these knobs. Uh, for each uh, channel, you have control over volt per octave here, gate output here, and two control voltages that you can use for uh, for up controlling other modules. Uh, you, this can be done with using envelopes. The module also has a SD card input, so you can uh, save and back up your uh, loops and your live sets. The last module is the MIR module. It's a quad VCA logic gate and uh, voltage inverter. And a distortion as well. <laughs> um, when using low voltages, such as LFOs, it, uh, it becomes a logic gate. It has two inputs. Using two uh, voltages, uh, two LFOs in the first two uh, inputs, um, makes it a OR gate. Using these two makes it an AND gate. Now, uh, once you uh, turn up the uh, LFO higher, so make it a VCO, it starts to become a VCA. 
with uh, linear or exponential control using the switch and a distortion. It is a uh, hard fitting distortion, by the way. Then, uh, as the last thing, you can uh, flip the face. So, get the flip face here or get the regular output here. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.